Actor Adam Driver, who played Kylo Ren in the Disney Star Wars sequel trilogy, says he has no plans to return to the franchise whatsoever. Before we get to this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at The Trent Report. Let's get into this here. Adam Driver confirms he will not reprise his role as Kylo Ren in future Star Wars films. As reported by Sci-Fi and Fantasy Gazette, Driver did an appearance on the Smartless podcast where he was asked if he would reprise his role. This is what he said. They're doing stuff, but not with me. I'm not doing any more. So Adam Driver is washing his hands of the Star Wars franchise, has no intention of doing any more uh, with Star Wars. And who can blame him? The entire franchise is absolutely tainted. Uh, absolutely uh, terrible fan base that they have now uh, cultivated over there that uh, describe anyone who has any kind of criticisms for their poor quality as all of these isms and every any kind of ad hominem attack they can think of. They're even doing it through the official Star Wars account. We saw what they did with Obi-Wan Kenobi. So why would you even subject yourself to a company that is promoting such absolutely heinous heinous ideology and actions. And then we also saw what they did with Gina Carano as well. So clearly there's lots of reasons why you would not want to associate with Star Wars anymore. And who knows if those are any of uh, the reasons that are factoring in to why Adam Driver might not be wanting to reprise his role as Kylo Ren or returning to the Star Wars franchise. But clearly he has no intention of doing it at all. And this is similar to what he said back in 2019, nearly five years ago. Uh, he told the French outlet Le Matin, this was just after The Rise of Skywalker had released, uh, and he said that uh, reprising the role was, quote, not on the agenda at all. When asked if he might reprise the role of Kylo Ren in a future film or TV series, this is what he said. That is not on the agenda at all. The experience will remain forever as one of the great moments of my career, but I aspire to other adventures. He then detailed what his goals for 2020 were. He says, by 2020, I want to disappear. I want to be forgotten so that it can be offered other very different projects. So he didn't want people to remember his role as Kylo Ren, even say, even after describing it as one of the great moments of his career, because he just didn't want to get typecast and he wanted to be able to do other projects. So I think that kind of tells you what he thought about Star Wars and what that role would mean for his career. He wanted it to be forgotten so he can actually have a career because uh, he thought it would be a career killer. Nevertheless, he went on and said, I'll try to be discreet as possible during the end of year parties because I hate drawing attention to myself. Uh, and then he obviously just kind of goes on and says, I may sound surprising to an actor, uh, but I like to be incognito. One thing is certain. I will avoid cinemas and especially places where they project Star Wars. Obviously, he did not want to get recognized at all by those kind of Star Wars uh, stands that Lucasfilm uh, cultivated over the past couple of years where they were clearly trying to inject feminist propaganda into uh, the property. There's a reason why it is called The Force is Female because that is indeed what they were trying to do. Uh, while uh, Driver will not be reprising his role, Daisy Ridley indeed will, or seemingly will. Uh, they made an announcement at least, but who knows with Lucasfilm, they make announcements all the time and none of those things uh, come to fruition. I mean, remember uh, uh, Patty Jenkins' Rogue Squadron film was supposed to have been in theaters uh, this past winter, uh, or I guess uh, this in this month uh, here in December, and uh, where's that? Not, not, <laughs> it never happened, right? Uh, but they did announce this uh, movie with Daisy Ridley reprising her role as Rey back at Star Wars Celebration in London in April. Uh, this is what a press release said. Set 15 years after the last events of the Skywalker saga, Shermaine Obey Chinoy will tell the story of rebuilding the new Jedi Order and the powers that rise to tear it down. The director then delighted fans by welcoming Daisy Ridley to stage, confirming she will be reprising her beloved role as Rey in the upcoming movie. Uh, Kathleen Kennedy, the president of Lucasfilm, who has absolutely run the entire franchise into the ground. If you don't think a leadership is important, all you have to do is look at the Walt Disney Company and their various different uh, subsidiaries. Uh, Lucasfilm and Star Wars, clearly one of those. You can also look at Marvel, look at Pixar. Absolutely terrible leadership have been destroying their properties left and right. But Kennedy provided more details on this film uh, in an interview with Entertainment Weekly. She said, we've been talking a lot about going well into the past. And one of the things that's really knitting this all together, obviously, are the Jedi. What happened with the Jedi over time, much like history? How did the Jedi evolve? They were wiped out with Order 66, and they gradually have been coming back. The question that we're going to ask with New Jedi Order and with Rey is, does the galaxy need them anymore? Do they want them back? So there's a lot of food for thought in that in what we're doing, whether it's in the past, present, or future. So the entire movie's premise sounds utterly stupid and dumb. Uh, just just absolute garbage. Like, anyone who knows anything about Star Wars would never ask this question. It's just utterly absurd. It's so stupid. 
Uh, she would also tell Games Radar, I think what's always great about Star Wars is it's a big galaxy, and we're coming off what was a major war with the First Order, and now Rey has made a promise to Luke, and that's really the core of where we're going and what this story will be. And I think it offers just tremendous opportunity to introduce new characters and start with something fresh, because we culminated with what George was creating, and now we take all of that and move it to the next chapter. So obviously they want to, uh, they're done with kind of using what George had created as the blueprint and want to kind of create their own thing. Uh, one can only imagine how disastrous it is going to be. Uh, nevertheless, she went on and said that, that uh, all of these themes tie in to the announced James Mangold film, which they also announced at Star Wars Celebration. It's supposed to be some kind of like origin of the Force movie. But this is what Kennedy said. It was something that uh, Jim Mangold immediately sparked to. And I think it's a really nice compliment to what we're doing with moving into the future with Ray. And then understanding a bit more of where this all came from. Because it will be at the heart of creating the new Jedi Order. So to get a real sense of where that might have began with the Dawn of the Jedi could be pretty cool. So clearly the uh, Force is female. It's not just going. To, it's not just a meme. We've seen this obviously in the films, and they're going to try and push it even further with this uh, or, for, origin of the Force, as well as the Array a New Jedi Order film. So all this looks like an absolute, absolute disaster. We did get a leaked synopsis for the film from issue thirteen thirty five of Production Weekly. It said, set roughly 15 years after Rey's victory over Palpatine at the end of Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, the sequel delves into Rey's courageous endeavor to restore the Jedi Order, where she assumes the role of a mentor to two promising young students, a girl and a boy. As her training progresses, it becomes evident that the girl possesses extraordinary abilities destined to emerge as the future leader. Uh, shocking that the, the, the female character is the one that possesses extraordinary abilities and is destined to emerge as the future leader. Again, Force is female, is indeed real. And uh, can you blame Adam Driver for not wanting to reprise his role as Kylo Ren, even if it's in like a Force Ghost capacity in this film? It just looks like absolute garbage. So uh, kudos to him for saying, no, I don't want anything more to do with this and moving on. But let me know what you think about what Adam Driver had to say and, and what do you think his reasons are as to why he doesn't want to return to Star Wars. Let me know in the comments below. Remember to always be charitable but you always speak the truth.